Hey guys, thank you for checking out today's video. I want to go over a topic that will hopefully lead into a discussion about some perspective. I know that's kind of crazy dotted line there, but for real, there's something that has really kind of sank in with me. And year after year of learning my beard and teaching about beard care, I've really kind of had to accept this perspective. And it is a perspective that I wish more people had when they approached their beard. And that is the concept that this is not a learn it and you're set forever kind of situation. It's more so learn how to take care of your beard, adjust as things change, and then go with a different approach, and then adjust here, and then try something new here. It's always evolving, whether it's for you as an individual or for kind of the industry, the niche, the community as a whole, because it is rapidly changing. And there's a whole lot that has to do with this, and, and I'll kind of give all the details in the video, but I should first introduce myself. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and yes, I do have a busted blood vessel in my eye. Nothing to worry about there. It should be gone in the next kind of week or two. It's just from working out and uh, just being silly and overextending myself. Doesn't hurt, doesn't affect my, my vision, but I'm like, I got probably gonna have a couple of videos with this in it. I've already talked about it on live streams, Monday night, Wednesday night, every week, 9 p.m. Eastern. But no worries here. If you're staring at it, I don't blame you. <laughs> I would too. But my name is Dan. If you like learning about beard care and you're on the video already, consider subscribing if you're not. Shout out to those returning subscribers. And if everybody is excited to talk about this topic and or add in with the discussion in the comments, please hit the thumbs up, the like button right now. So let's get into it. Let's talk about you as an individual first. I am, we'll kind of take it bigger too out here. Most people today, whether it's our society, whether it's the world, our country, however you want to break it down, people want to look for answers, find answers, and use them. That's just how we're wired. I'm no different, right? I'll do DIY repairs because I'm frugal around the house, around vehicles, and I'm the same way. If I have an issue that's going on, let's say with my sump pump, I go on YouTube, I look up the problem, I want the answer, and I want to fix it. I get it, 100%. However, our beard is not the same way. It's not a fix. It's not something that is set forever, right? This camera that I'm recording on, I know very little about cameras and about mics and any, any of this stuff, but when I get something new, I go into like a couple of weeks of hardcore research, I set it, I'm in a controlled studio, never have to change it again. Your beard doesn't get a controlled studio. Your beard has to do with your body, what's on the inside, has to do with the environment around the outside, and it's always changing. So to break it down, you have kind of two sides. The first side would be your own preferences changing, and then the second side would be variables changing. Let's go over preferences first here. If you start to learn how to style your beard, how to care for your beard, you can change your mind. <laughs> if you're someone early that's like, no, I don't like using heat on my beard. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it feels. And then maybe some random Sunday, nobody's around. You're like, let me try this uh, blow dryer for my wife real quick. And you end up liking it. That's great. That's amazing. Now you adjust and you learn that new styling or vice versa. If you're someone that completely over strained your hair and it's got no texture and stick straight and it takes away the density and thickness of your beard, you can adjust and do something different and that's okay, right? You can be someone that has a big full beard and you just simply want to go shorter one day. That's okay. But understand with all of these changes, your approach has to change. Your routine has to change. At times your tools and your products will have to change. That's just a part of this. It's not simply one year you learn how to take care of your beard and you're set forever you may make some internal adjustments with what you want to do. And that's great. I see so many people that get trapped and they're like, this is what I'm known for. This is what I said and I'm married to my ideas. No, 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 forget that. Life is too short. We should enjoy it. Don't worry about being too serious with that stuff. Now on the other side, the much more difficult side to kind of like convey and understand is variables can change, right? The most common would be your own internal variables. You start taking care of your beard, you figure out the products and the routine that works for you, all of a sudden, one day, it's not working the same anymore. Your beard's not feeling right, your beard's not looking right, and you just don't know, nothing else has changed. Well, do you have more stress? That's gonna need to make an adjustment. Are you not drinking enough water? Has your diet changed? Has your exercise changed, your job? Whatever the case may be, what goes on on the inside will vastly impact what goes on the outside. So I can't possibly say, hey, you, do this for your beard and you're all set. 
we got to adjust along the way. Now, even more difficult, right? Because you can try your best to control the food, the exercise, the stress, all of that. What about the external variables? You move for a job that you just have to go and you move from a dry climate down to a humid climate. Whoo, man, in that humid climate, we now go to thin oils. You use less heat. You go with a shorter beard because it drives you crazy. Those are adjustments that need to happen. Another one that can be really challenging to kind of understand is your water table. Whether it's well water, whether it's city water, any source of water you have, there's going to be adjustments every year, every month, likely on a weekly basis. You're going to have some numbers that are moving. And if you have more calcium or more chlorine, yeah, there's chlorine and oh, don't get me started. If you have differences in your water table, it's going to affect your beard differently. It's going to affect the products, right? Some of you will say, hey, man, this wash doesn't work great for me. Well, maybe it has to do with your water table and it's completely different than what I have or what you used to have. So this is all just kind of to say, Understand adjustments will be made. Things will change, even with the simple fact of age. Something that works for someone with a 60-year-old beard is different than someone that works with a 20-year-old beard. There are differences, and that's amazing. Does it make it easy? No. Does it make my job easy? No. But I think it helps everyone if we go in with that perspective, if we go in with that mindset. Change is consistent, but it's also okay. Now, I would like to open it up down below to experiences from you guys. I know for a fact some of you are listening right now and you're like, oh yeah, Dan, I've been taking care of my beard for years and I know exactly what you're talking about. I experienced this and this. Drop your perspective. Please drop your experiences down below. You have no idea how much that could help someone that's really struggling right now. They're pulling their hair out. They're going crazy. And they might read your comment and say, whew. I'm not alone. I know exactly what they're talking about. Yes, this really helps me out. Please consider putting that down below. Even if you don't usually comment, this is a great time to open that up. And then secondly, what about your preferences? I know a lot of you personally, and I know that you've changed what you prefer about your beard and the look, the approach, the products, anything at all, let us know down below. And of course, what questions do you have? Did I make things more confusing and muddy the waters for you? I'm welcome, I welcome you to ask those questions so I can help clarify, or maybe it sparks an idea for a new video. So thank you guys for watching today. Cannot wait to read the discussion down below. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.